Hey Space Cats, I'm Dr. Maggie Lou, and welcome back to my channel. Yasmina Eberhardt wants to know, well, many things, but in general about the future of our expanding universe. So in this week's video, we're going to talk about how the expanding universe could mean a dark future for us all. So let's begin. The universe is expanding and it's expanding at an accelerating rate. We know this from the fact that galaxies are moving away from each other at a rate known as the Hubble constant. It's about 46,500 miles per hour per million light years. This might seem a little bit weird measurement for expansion, but it's because faraway galaxies are actually moving away from each other much faster than close by galaxies. To determine the Hubble constant, Edwin Hubble measured the distances to different galaxies and their receding velocities to obtain the Hubble expansion rate from the gradient of the best fit line. This means that even though Einstein's rule that nothing can move faster than the speed of light, you'll find that faraway galaxies could be moving away at faster than light speeds. Actually, the galaxies themselves are not physically moving away from each other, but instead it's the fabric of space-time on which the galaxies live on that's expanding, and the galaxies are just riding along. The speed of light limit only applies to objects moving on this space, rather than the space itself. Now, within the galaxies are light-emitting stars that emit light from the moment that they're formed. However, that light must travel through the expanding universe before it arrives here and so that we can see it. This means that some of that light was emitted over 13 billion years ago and yet we're only just seeing it now. Some of those stars and galaxies may not even exist anymore. Right now, based on the observations of the cosmic microwave background radiation from the early universe, we see that the universe is approximately flat with a significant amount of dark energy. This means that the universe should keep expanding forever at an accelerating rate. This has also been observed from supernovae explosions. Eventually, the universe will be expanding so quickly that light from other galaxies will no longer be able to reach us. Their distances would just be so large that even traveling at the speed of light, it would take longer than the age of the universe to reach us. Currently, this distance is about 15 billion light years away, but right now we can still see galaxies out to about 46 billion light years in radius, and this is the observable universe. The light out this far would have been emitted in the very early universe. Based on simulations, it's estimated that about 2 trillion galaxies exist in our observable universe. But we don't see all of them, because some of them are just too faint. In fact, we keep discovering new galaxies in our local cluster all of the time. From Hubble's deep observations, it's estimated that we can only see about 200 billion galaxies. Nevertheless, the lower limit on the size of the entire universe is 250 times larger than that of the observable universe. Assuming that the universe keeps expanding at an accelerating rate, galaxies will keep moving away from each other. The galaxies in clusters are gravitationally bound together, so even with the expansion in between 100 billion and a trillion years from now, all those galaxies in our local cluster will merge together to form one big galaxy. Other galaxies will be moving further and further away and their light will be redshifted to longer and longer wavelengths. So much so that even the most energetic events like gamma ray bursts would not be visible. In two trillion years from now, the only galaxies we'll be able to see are those within our local supercluster, the Virgo supercluster, consisting of about 100 galaxy groups and clusters. Within 100 trillion years, the universe's gas supply will be so sparse that star formation will end and eventually stars will run out of fuel and stop shining. By 100 quadrillion years, planets will have been ejected from their orbits, and later the stellar remnants will similarly depart their galaxies or even fall into black holes. The universe will keep expanding until density reaches zero, and all matter has dissipated and black holes evaporate away. 
However, if the theory is correct about inflation, the period just after the Big Bang, where the universe experienced a bout of rapid expansion, during this time, the universe was dominated by a different type of dark energy. But inflation ended, and that dark energy equation of state changed. It's possible that the dark energy equation of state will change again. And this makes trying to make predictions extremely difficult. Maybe the universe won't expand on forever, and then the above events might not occur. Instead, we could get a big crunch, a reverse big bang. Either way, the Earth is likely to be engulfed by the Sun in about 7.5 billion years from now, a much shorter time scale than the events on this timeline. Yes, astronomers will see less and less galaxies, but they won't live to see a completely dark sky. Thank you so much for watching this week's video. Let me know if you enjoyed it, and please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.